Well, we finished Rocky Mountain Race Week and then got back to the shop. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dyno Jamie's little hot rod Civic we call brother-in-law. It's actually his brother-in-law's car, which Jamie's pretty much commandeered and has become his hot rod. Yeah. So <laughs> I just bought we're gonna, he, so he ran it a couple weeks ago and took the clutch out of it. It needed a differential, etc. So he just finished all the tranny stuff, put a twin disc in it, and now we're gonna try to get a handle on it. This is a stock open deck block, no block guard, uh, no CSS, and he's been really mobbing on it for about a year now, making around 580 horsepower. We're turning it down a little bit now that we've got the twin disc because it's definitely gonna load the car harder. So we're gonna start there and then kind of ride it out. What do you think, James? Oh, I'm stoked. Stoked? Stoked. All right, so we'll, as usual, we'll start off with syncing the timing and then uh, make a tug and see where we're starting off. All right. All right, so we're gonna start off with syncing it. Time light set to 16. He's gonna set the computer to 16. We'll get the timing set. And then we'll rock this. Okay, and I just gotta give him a second to where he can get live and download and get everything straight in there. All right, he's set now. All right, so timing right now is 6.9. So we need to go ahead and advance the distributor, which means we will take Found my wrench here. <laughs> Hiding somewhere. So we're gonna move it towards the firewall, which will be advancing it. So much happier it already sounds. Yeah. So I'll go back and forth real quick until I find what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. 16.9. You make that work. That'll be fine. Then he'll lock down the three bolts, hold the shooter on. And then we'll get into this hot rods tune and make it happen. Okay, now that we've gone and set the timing, we're gonna go ahead and make a base pull and find out where we're starting. Should be around 18 pounds of boost. And uh, should give us a good idea what it needs. thinking brother-in-law needs just a little bit of love so the car has a full exhaust system in a GT35 82 turbo you ready check the straps get some more temperature in it straps are all tight that time it was a little lean so before it had a bunch of temperature compensation in it so
so got rid of that, so just added it into the map now. Alright, just a quick little fuel change and give her a shot again. See, it would have gone more, but he let off before the re rev limiter. Probably more than the car needs, but <laughs> way more than the car needs. But Jamie always has to party, just what he does. But this is a relatively pretty simple setup it's rod and piston combo engine with springs and retainers, um, and then a GT35 turbo. Um, we used a PFAB ram horn manifold, tile wastegate. Uh, one of our style intercoolers. Um, we've got the PFI speed map sensor, which are available on the website if you guys want one. Um, what else is on this thing? Fuel pump, Clutch Master's Twin Disc, M Factory LSD, Stock LS Tranny. What injectors in it? They're FIC 1150s. You're way out of fuel. Uh huh. You should be way out of fuel. No, look at the return line. See how the return line pitches on the manifold? Only 87%. Only. But it has one of the 450 in-tank fuel pumps as well, uh, which are also available on the PFI Speed website. It's got FIC 1150cc injectors with a little kinked return line for his added pressure. Seems to work though. Car runs good. Four port boost solenoid. And then the Honda Ad S300. We tamed the boost down a little bit and pulled a little bit of timing. Just trying to get it under control on the stock sleeve. Turned it down some, I see. Yeah. Turned it down, pulled some timing, but it's a little fat in the middle there. Almost there. All right, he's gonna make another pull. He just turned the boost down and he kind of took some timing out of it, so we'll see what it does. Just make another pull, make sure everything's good, and probably call it there. out of the top and put a little in the middle either way for a stock open deck block this is all crazy good power I'm good there you good there I'm good there 18 pounds yeah that'll make it rock yeah that'll be a fun car left it a little rich and it's all mapped up so if I ever need to turn it up at the track we can so good starting point hell yeah 
this will be a blast. Jamie's got his hot rod ready, so we'll try to take a little track of So, I'm gonna test it and make sure everything's good, and then my brother-in-law is actually gonna drive it at Streetcar Takeover. Woo! He hasn't raced, he raced it once at a Streetcar Takeover roll racing, like two, maybe three years ago. So, this is preparation for him so he can actually drive his car. Cause I always thieve it, so. My car's running and might as well let him run it, so. Awesome. So the brother-in-law is gonna drive the brother-in-law. Yep, drive Very his cool. own car. Pass Very cool. Baton. Awesome. Well, the final numbers after he turned it down was 541 horsepower. Now he's gonna get it to the track. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.